Welcome to another question of the week where I help you with your car fishing question and queries to put more fish on the bank for you. Are you listening? Damn. Uh. If it's the first time you've come across this channel and you like these type of videos, then you may want to think about subscribing. If you are a subscriber, don't forget to hit that bell icon and you'll never miss another video again. This week's question comes from Mark Bright who asks, I'm going to be fishing this winter. I don't know whether to fish a shallow lake or a deep lake. Can you help me figure out what I should do? Of course, Mark, I'll give you my experiences of what I've found works best over the winter period. Now, if we take deep lakes for a start, you mentioned deep and shallow, let's take deep lakes for a start. Now, because the falling water temperature takes a lot longer, the deeper the lake is, then I tend to find over the years that I've fished deep lakes through the colder period up to around about Christmas, you can still manage to get bites. And it can fish quite well, deeper lakes, because the water hasn't cooled down enough yet for the fish to switch off or stop feeding or feed irregularly throughout the rest of the winter. There's something that works really well, I've found, on these deep lakes after that initial settling down period around about Christmas and after Christmas all the way up until spring because they take a long time to warm up in spring as well so normally you'll find the deeper lakes they don't fish very well early spring where the shallower lakes will now I found that using zigs adjustable zigs anywhere from seven foot below the surface to a foot two foot below the surface can work really well on those deep waters when everyone else has given up on them the zigs can really put extra fish on the bank for you and you can get two or three in a day sometimes when no one else is there when everyone else has dis discounted it as a bad winter water moving on to shallow lakes I tend to fish shallow lakes a lot more in the winter time now the reason being is this you get your initial shock minus temperatures and the temperature of the water dropping and dropping and dropping really quickly and it turns the fish off but once you get over that initial hard set of frosts and that it can actually fish quite well and quite regularly especially if you get those warmer days with a warm westerly or southerly comes in and the water temperature goes up by one or two degrees you can have relatively good success in winter and i tend to target these type of waters in the winter time keep a little bit of bait going in even when it's freezing cold and you'll reap the rewards another factor that you have to take into consideration because not all lakes will follow that pattern of the deep fishing up to christmas and after the shallower lakes will fish better once the temperatures leveled out is if you've got high stock something like linear b2 which is quite deep goes down to 14 15 foot it's got a high density of stock you can catch throughout the winter period on and off depending on weather conditions and pressure and if the fish are up for a feed you know and all taxes work bottom baits bags little sticks pop-ups you know zigs work particularly well as well so you know you can target a water with a high stock level again if you can find a shallower lake with a high stock level then that to me is the ideal perfect lake to target in the winter months when it's freezing cold no one else is catching you can put a plan in place to catch regularly from those shallower, more highly stocked waters. So Mark, I hope that's helped you. Brilliant question, and I know it's a question that a lot of guys will be asking themselves whether they can be bothered to fish over the winter period. That'll give you a general idea of how different lakes fish, whether they're deep or shallow, over the winter months and where you can target to get regular action. Don't forget, if you like these type of videos and you want to see more of these type of videos, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification, and you'll never miss another video again. See you for the next video.